Hey guys, and welcome to my guide on how to get Polly, Annalyn, and Benzene in Subnautica Below Zero. So whenever you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. For this area, you're going to need the sea truck with at least a depth module upgrade 1, but if you want to have ease of access, the depth module upgrade 2 can be useful because you can go to a depth of 650 meters with the sea truck. We're going to start our journey from the Delta Station dock and we're going to head straight southeast. Our goal is to get to the deep lily pads biome which is located very close to the lily pads biome. We're now in the lily pads biome and a point of reference is this massive, massive thing in the water. At that point you want to go inside the crevices you can see below you and follow the path as seen on the video. That is, if you can properly drive the sea truck, which I apparently can't. Now you can actually access the deep lily pad caves pretty much through all the cracks around this area, but this is the place I go down myself. As you can see, I already have a beacon over here. If you're wondering about the coordinates, they're on screen now, but I don't think you need these. You can easily follow the video along and get here just fine. Now, if you don't have the second depth upgrade for your sea truck, you're just going to go down using your sea glide instead. It doesn't really matter as you can easily get down here with the sea glide, given that you have enough batteries, because if you do run out, you're probably going to drown. Once down here, to get access to polyaniline and benzene, you want to grab one of these glowing flowering spores, and that's it. To craft benzene, you're going to want two flowering spores and one ribbon plant, but to craft polyaniline, you're going to need hydrochloric acid and gold. Hydrochloric acid is made with three young cotton anemones and one salt deposit. And you can find these pretty much everywhere. They're all over the place, and it will take you absolutely no time to grab a bunch of them for all your crafting needs, including the perimeter defense and the charged fins. Oh, and don't get grabbed by the spiky traps down here, by the way, the uh, moving plants. Just stay away from them, and the squid sharks. Can't be that hard, right? You can also grab the recipe from the sea truck perimeter defense upgrade in Margaret's Maida's base. I hope the video helped. If it did, leave a like down below, and maybe even consider subscribing, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.